graduation, but I'm still a freshman. Learn to do right. I never write with my left hand. Respect, man. Music to my ears like Def Jam. My class is like Nike because they give me a check, man. Up at 8 o'clock, riders try to get it. No co-signer because I'm signing they pimping. Out here on a mission, moving with precision. 401k, I'm trying to make back tuition. In a couple years, I'm who they talk about. Study at the table every night like Camelot. If everybody winning, it's the time. No, not please disagree. Why, ladies, think I'm really hot. Got me down, got me flying in the white dove. Married to dedication, shout out to y'all being white dove. Push them haters to the back, type right dove. I am the hustle and discipline in the life of. Hello and welcome to A Day in the Life of, a collegiate reality-based television show that follows the typical day in the life of an exceptional student here at BCU. I'm Samantha Malborn, your guest host for today. And today, we have a senior from Atlanta, Georgia. She's a Bill Gates Millennium Scholar, a nursing major, and a marching wildcat here at Bethune-Cookman University. She has a strong vision to making a positive image for herself and believes that there is a blessing in service and loves to service her community. Let's take a look at and see who she is. My name is Keisha Anderson, and this is a day in my life. On my way to graduation, but I'm still a freshman. Learn to do right, I never write with my left hand. Respect, man, music to my ears like Def Jam. My class is like Nike, cause they give me a check, man. Up at 8 o'clock, right, I'm trying to get it. No co-signer, because I'm signing they pimping. Out here on a mission, moving with precision. 401k, I'm trying to make in a couple years, I'm who they talk about. Study at the table every night like Camelot. I need a break. Let's see what's going on in Google real quick. Let's look up me. Yeah. What? Including results for sexy beast? but you can call me Kiki. I'm a psychology major. Um, my organization that I'm in is Hasaris 2 Championship Dance Team Incorporated. And you are watching BCU Campus TV. Shout out to HA2! <laughs> Hello, 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 this is a day in my life. This is a sample of the page that I type because I take intelligence and mix with innovation. Turn a good grade into a celebration. Have a conversation. Welcome back to A Day in the Life. If you're just joining us, thank you for being here. And to our guest, Keisha Anderson, we thank you for being here today, too. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Okay. Well, I'm good. Thank you for asking. We're going to get started with a couple of questions. Um, did you always know that you were going to college? Um, yes, I did. Um, growing up, my sister was in college, so, so watching her, seeing her, I was like, definitely, definitely doing this. So uh, at what point did you realize that college was an option for you? Um, I would have to say um, around beginning of high school, middle schoolish type time. Um, that's uh, around the time where teachers would start introducing, you know, higher education to us, talking to us about college, um, things of that nature. So, kind of threw us into it early. What What made you realize that you wanted to go to college? 
Um, I've always liked school. Out of like all my friends, I was the only one that really enjoyed going to school. So um, I never thought it was anything wrong with a little more education, you know. Never hurts to learn. You know, knowledge is power. So, mm -hmm. what um did was there something specifically that inspired you, like that made you say I have to go to college? Um, basically my career. Um, at a young age, I kind of had the idea of what I wanted to be when I grew up. So with that, I understood that after high school, I had to continue on to college to um, be what I wanted to be. So that kind of sparked my sparked my interest and put a little fire under me. What's the career that you want to pursue? Um, I would definitely like to be a nurse. Um, also, I wanted to be firefighter, superhero, um, all that good stuff. But um, yeah, nurse was definitely my um, number one pick. So why Bethune Cookman University? Oh, why Bethune? What um, led you here? What led me here? Number one, the band. The band's great. So you're in a band? I am in the band. Oh, me too. <laughs> Get out! Oh God, I've never seen you before. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> But um, yeah, marching band definitely. Um, also, the tradition behind the school. Um, once I was introduced, and I did a little background um, research on the school. Just looking the tradition behind the school, the legacy that the school stands upon is definitely something that drove me here. Um, the Christian-based atmosphere that also surrounds the university is definitely a plus for me. Um, definitely a plus for my mom, my family. So, little things like that. Okay, so we found out that you're in the band, and most students are in scholarship, but a little birdie told me that you're not. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, we're going we're gonna to find out later in the show why mm -hmm. not, but I think it's time to um, go to our first video. We have an interview from um, your clinical professor, professor and um, we're going to take a look at that. Keisha is a very ambitious student. Um, She's very knowledgeable and in clinical, I consider her to be one of my strong clinical students. Um, hands on, she's there. Critical thinking is improving and um, I think she'll make a good nurse. Without hard work, you know, you can't reach success. Um, hard work is basically the baseline of you growing to whatever the next level the is. aspect of nursing that's important for her to succeed when she graduates. She's learning all the hands-on um, things like IV starts, um, administration of medication. She's also learning how to interact with the various disciplines like um, nurses, doctors, case managers, and um, also how to communicate with her peers and um, to perform teamwork when caring for her patient to work hard because you have other people's lives in your hands. If you don't focus on what you're doing, focus on the task at hand, you could end up having some serious issues. So you have to realize that this is people's lives that you have to worry about and life or death is a very critical situation. So you have a lot riding on you. So you have to work hard and focus on what you're doing. Hmm. My journey to college was kind of blurry. Um, before I got here, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I was the youngest out of three children, so I watched my sisters go to college, so I'm like, okay, well, I got one side of it. What will it be like for me? So for me, it was kind of blurry, but as I grew up, as I grew along, I learned that, you know, it is what it is. Got to take it one step at a time. Um, I think one of my biggest struggles <laughs> that might not seem that major, but it was definitely time management. I definitely had to learn how to manage my time well, how to organize myself, how to use every second, every moment, every minute of the day wisely um, to accomplish everything that I have going on and to get everything done in a timely manner and still maintain time for myself and still have that me time that you need to to keep going. <laughs> I'm shocked, I'm sure. Okay. Hey! Ooh, look at you looking like business. Ooh. Hey, baby. In admissions, I'm responsible for scanning all of the incoming mail, basically transcripts, SAT scores, ACT scores, applications, um, things of that nature. Make sure that those are properly put with the proper person. So basically, I'm responsible for handling all the documents that are needed for someone to be accepted into the university. Um, basically, it's up to me to make sure that 
everything is in line, everything's in order, and everything's where it's supposed to be so that their acceptance is made a little bit easier for the counselors to do what they have to do. Are we having a senior day this year? To become a student ambassador, you um, basically filled out the application and you were interviewed in front of a panel of advisors and they asked you questions about the history of the school, um, your experience with the school, things of that nature. Um, once I was picked to become an ambassador, my responsibilities were to basically be the voice of the school. I've attended recruitment fairs, um, recruitment outings, done student panels um, as, a represent as a representative of the school. Um, also, we, I've interacted in Senior Day, which is a program that's put on for high school seniors on the campus, basically for them to get a feeling of the college life, basically to have a whole day at Bethune Cookman University. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, OMG is Chesman, and I'm here to talk to you about Hi guys, welcome back to A Day in the Life of. Thank you for joining us. We're back here with our special guest today, Keisha Anderson. Uh, let's get started back to the questions, okay? Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your parents? Uh, my parents, well, my mom, um, brought me and my sisters up as a single parent. Mm -hmm. So that was um, kind of fun. But um, my father, I never really, really got to know him. Um, we never really had a relationship growing up and he passed away before I, before we could really develop that. And I was kind of younger, so that sucks. But um, my mom, crazy, crazy, crazy. Lively woman. <laughs> Miss Deb. <laughs> Uh, so I know you didn't know much about your dad, but um, did your mom go to college? No, she, <coughs> no, she didn't actually. Um, growing up, she had my sister when she was 18, so right after high school, that was kind of it for her. But um, I think that's definitely why she pushed me to, you know, um, go on with higher education and live my life for her, basically, do the things she didn't get to do. All right. Well, I mean, I know your family is proud of the decisions you made. Um, so far, you're a senior in college, got your own place, very mm -hmm. independent and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but how did they feel about you coming here? How did they feel when you said, I'm going to go to Bethune-Cookman University? My mom hated it. She <laughs> hated it. She was so upset. And her main thing was like, it's too far away. And she was... It's only really six hours. Six, but no, she completely hated it. She cried months before I even left. <laughs> Cried my whole ride there. Cried when she got here. Cried when she was leaving. She was just so upset. But I think she appreciates it now. She gets to have a whole house to herself and have fun, party it up. Get that time back. Get Right, get it back. So I think she appreciates it. Okay, so uh, your major is nursing and you have a minor in psychology. Mm -hmm. um, could you tell us a little bit about why you chose to minor in psychology and how does your family feel about your major choice? Well, um, a minor in psychology really coincides with nursing. Um, psychology allows you to dig deeper into individuals. And um, being a nurse, you interact with others continuously. So um, knowing the thought process of, of people, um, knowing how to socially dig deeper into the thought process of a person without even asking them what was wrong, it, it aids in what nursing basically is. So, so you're just, so you don't have to minor in psychology with your nursing major, right? No, not at all. So you just want to be big and bad. I did. I just wanted to do a little rap, a little something on it. Okay, so <laughs> how does your family feel about your, your major? They love it. They um, have watched me grow up, and I've always been into medical everything. Um, always grew up watching trauma, life in the ER, all that, house. all those medical shows. House, love, love house. house. Grey's Anatomy, love it always grew up watching that stuff. So they felt like I was right at home. I've always been the type to take care of people. You know, <laughs> whenever someone's hurt, I'm always the one that wants to help them. So friends feel, always call you? Yeah, friends definitely always call me. I do. Her. Yeah, <laughs> but 
they feel like this is perfect for me. Okay, and um, is your mother involved in your college life? Is she? <laughs> God, you would think that she's here. Like, she's probably calling you now. Probably is. I'm pretty sure she is. But yeah, calls me every second, every chance she can. She asks me about a grade. Every test I have, you would think she's taking it with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every break she's asking me how my grades are. Everything you would think she's a student here too. Okay, well, um, since we're talking about grades, since you brought up grades, we know that you're a, a you're a Millennium Scholar. We have that coming up right after this uh, video and these commercials. We got that coming up next. We also are going to talk about you being in the band. And a little birdie told me that you're not on scholarship like most college students. No, no, no. no. You're not on scholarship <laughs> like most band students. So we're going to find out a little more about that right after these messages and these uh, words from our sponsors. I'm awesome. Hey, people of America. <laughs> <laughs> I think I call her Speedy. She's very, when I had her, I had her this summer in um, OB. And she listened intently to everything I said. And I have a tendency to give students little names after I watch their behavior and I always know that she was always flying in a hurry. I'd be trying to talk to her, she'd be trying to go. So I, her nickname was Speedy. Um, so what I noticed about her is that she really, she listened and she paid attention to everything that I said, but she also paid attention to everything that was going on with her patients. Like, she was very, um, she was astute when I say astute. She really listened to what people, patients said, and then when she interacted with it, because these were uh, uh, normal families having babies, so when she interacted with them, she gave it a whole 100%. When, you know, when the lady was pushing, you'd have thought, Keisha was pushing for the lady, but she's very, uh, she's speedy, she's, she's, she pays attention to detail, and um, those are the things that make a good nurse. Yes, I see her being successful. She's very proactive. Um, she's the type of student that seek out learning opportunities. What drives me the most is definitely my family, um, watching them as I've grown up, um, seeing the struggle that my mom had, being a single parent, raising three daughters. I definitely want more for my family in the future. So um, that definitely encourages me to work hard, um, keep pushing and strive towards everything that I want to achieve in my life. She has good communication skills, she has empathy, and she has the ability to be compassionate. And I think in order to be a nurse, we're, that's something that we don't see as much. You've got to be able to put yourself in someone else's, um, um, in someone else's um, the situation in which they're going through to kind of identify with them. And Keisha, yeah, I think she, she's going to be good. I'm not sure what yet because that was the first semester that I had her, so I'm not real clear yet where she might go, but I tend to see her in an area where she'll do a lot of teaching and stuff, because she likes that, she likes a lot of action. One major goal for me definitely was um, getting accepted into the nursing program, um, getting here, watching other people, listening to their testimonies and their stories. They made it seem like the nursing program was like winning a million dollars, so to me, getting into the program and being the great person I am, that's definitely a major goal for me. And I basically want to start off as a basic entry nurse, learn as much as I can. Eventually I want to grow to become a nurse manager. Um, from there I would love to venture off into something having to do with law and medicine, medical practices, something along that line. So I definitely plan to make it as high as I can with this nursing field and all that wonderful stuff that it comes with. But it's the life of a college student I asked for. Walk across the stage at the end, smile flow. Big smile, big hugs, man, believe that. You sitting down in the crowd, you can be that. Hello. Am I done? How do I unwind after a long day? I definitely go home, take my shoes off, and turn on music, blast it, and sing it like I'm Beyonce, or Tamar Braxton, or Patti LaBelle or something like. I, um, that's basically it. I just enjoy myself, be me, do 
crazy stuff like that. Encouragement for Keisha is to continue to be confident in yourself and not to second guess yourself and also to be a patient advocate and learn as much as you can learn and grow. The sky is the limit. Well, I wish her the best. She knows that you know, I'm always here for her. She is a educational consumer. She takes advantage of her opportunities here. She seeks out learning experiences. So those are good. I, I, I really like that about her. Um, I'm proud of her. Um, she's doing very well in her clinical, um, with her clinical experience, and she's one of our role model students. Okay, um, well, with earning the Bill Gates Scholarship, it is a major deal. Um, from my school, prior to me receiving it, out of maybe 75 that applied in classes before me, only one or two were picked. But for me, it was extremely difficult. I was nervous every every day until I found out. Um, it was definitely hard work. I, I put in a lot of a lot of hours trying to prepare, trying to do all my essays, make sure I had everything in line. So when it was that time, send all in my <laughs> to send in all of my things, I had it all together. Um, when I found out, I was actually with one of my friends, and my mom showed up at Walmart. We were at Walmart, and my mom showed up, and I was like, "What's going on?" Like something bad happened I was thinking something bad had happened but she pulled up and she shows me this big envelope that says congratulations from Gates Millennium and I screamed in the middle of the Walmart parking lot um and right then and there I said thank you God I didn't cry but I wanted to. She is a leader somewhat. You know, she's not really a follower. She makes her own decisions. She decides what she wants to do after she's given the information. She's able to make the appropriate decision based upon what, the information that she's given. So in some sense, she really is already a leader. And in essence, to to be a nurse somewhat, you really, you already, we are, she is a leader and we're just perfecting those leadership skills and abilities in her, causing them to um, just manifest or come out in a different way. So she's already a leader. No pain, no gain, baby. <laughs> Am I done now? All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. We want to give a very special thank you to our special guest today, Keisha You're Anderson. You're welcome, very welcome. Is there anything else that you want to say um, to the crowd before we go? Well, people, <laughs> be great. Who that nation? Ah, uh, who that thrive? Uh, you guys stay tuned. Uh, next week, we have a, a BC professor coming up. So you guys check back in and see how who, see out. See who that is. <laughs> I'm Samantha Malborn, your special guest host and for today. And I am your new guest host, Keisha Anderson. See you guys next week. Not even. This has been a day in the life of. See you guys later. No, you can never be a host. You cannot host. I really hope. But this the life of a college student I asked for Walk across the stage at the end, smile flow Big smile, big pearls, man, believe that You sitting down in the crowd, you can be